Hey, today for the surfboard guide, I'll be doing a review of the Air 17X by JS Surfboards. The Air 17X I've been riding is a 510 by 19 a quarter by two and a half, which comes in at 29 and a half liters and is a custom um, order. I just kind of beefed it out with a little more width and a little bit more thickness to kind of suit the board I normally like. Um, the Air 17X um, is a step down version of Julian Wilson's original pro model, the Air 17, um, which I wrote a few of last year and I really enjoyed. Um, so whether that's a performance shortboard for kind of better waves or kind of in the three to four foot plus range, this just sits a little bit below that for kind of average conditions. Um, and when waves are a little bit smaller, when you're getting above that grovelly kind of little quad kind of board and looking at the performance shortboard, this is that kind of leap between that and the Air 17. Um, so with the Air 17X, it just has a very gentle rocker. It's, it's, it's a little bit flatter than the Air 17. Um, they've flattened it out. It's just a gentle rocker through the nose. It's quite flat through the center. And it's just a kind of medium kind of rocker, tail lift out the back, nothing too aggressive. Um, flipping over the Air 17X, it just has a single concave that comes through the board and then a double that starts in front of the fins and out the back. But again, they're both very gentle, um, nothing too aggressive but it moves water really efficiently and the board moves really well across flat sections due to this nice gentle concave. Uh, and also the Air 17X has a medium kind of full rail. So it's a really nice, I, I heard the term soft um, on a rail. It feels like a really forgiving kind of soft rail. It feels nice under your hand um, holding the board and it feels really nice moving through the water as well. So I've been surfing the Air 17X for about the last five or six weeks. I probably got it in yeah, about five or six weeks ago, maybe two months ago. I've had it in a variety of conditions, um, kind of anything from kind of the one to two foot kind of waist high range um, through just recently, the weekend just gone, we had tropical cyclone Gita. Um, so we had waves in Sydney. So if you're on the Gold Coast, you probably got pumping waves. I'm sure you saw footage of all the pros that live up there getting some amazing tubes out here and whatnot. We didn't get that. So we got kind of waves up to like the four or five foot range, kind of overhead in a bit. That was a lot of fun. It was good to have a nice solid east swell, but I didn't get quite get like the Gold Coast. But anyway, um, I was filming and surfing that across the weekend um, in those conditions on this board. So I got to surf it through that kind of two foot to maybe the up kind of like towards the six foot range. Um, and the board held really well across that whole range. I was actually surprised when it got a little bigger, um, how well the board uh, held in those conditions because it was something I normally kind of grab for that two to three foot range. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely held its own in all those kind of conditions. Um, in the Air 17X, I've been riding the Futures, um, they're the Jack Freestone Generation Series. So with these Generation Series, they're similar to those that are uh, familiar with uh, Futures. They have a black stick fin, which has a foil on the inside. So the Generation fin is very similar but it's a glass fin and it just has a light foil. So it just helps like, I give the board a little bit more pace. Um, it helps water move through the board and it just, it's a nice quick kind of fin. Um, I actually tried, Jack has another fin called the Control Series, which is meant for waves kind of probably four foot. When the waves have a lot of push um, and you don't want a fin that generates speed, you want a fin that controls speed. But I actually went back to these and these actually held really well when it got a little bit bigger. Um, I kind of saw them as this is a like, kind of one to three foot fin and the other is the four to six foot fin and that was fine but they were actually, I felt there wasn't much of a need to switch. These were fine when it did get a bit bigger um, and they still did control and turn really well because they have a glass fin, they're quite solid and they're a nice lively feeling fin and they did hold, hold really well in when it got a little bit bigger. Um, the Air 17X is a performance shortboard, just stumped down a little bit, a little bit flatter um, a little bit more forgiving, but I think it is a board for someone who is a, probably an intermediate to advanced surfer, um, I think to really get the benefits out of the board. Like sure anyone could jump on it and have a bit of a go, but I think this is a board for someone who can surf to, to really get the benefits out of it and really enjoy what the board's meant to do. That's our review today of the Air 17X by JS Surfboards. It's been a lot of fun to ride and hopefully get a chance to check one out. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw, it'd be great if you could hit like. If you want to see more of what we're doing, hit subscribe. Or if you want to share it with anyone, hit the share button. Also, we have an Instagram page where we post lots of photos and shots and videos about boards of riding, waves of surfing, and different things that are going on in the surfing world. You can check it out at The Surfboard Guide. Thanks so much for watching.